Ready? Before our wonderful teacher, Mrs. Rubenstein, runs out to help Jimmy, she decided to use her teacher, teacher superpowers to make the ball bearing drop into the system of levers. Thankfully, the students were learning about simple machines in science class, and they were practicing them all over the classroom. After the levers, the last ball bearing drops into the tin pail, which lifts a falling picture frame back onto the shelf, knocking over a book in front of where the students were learning about potential kinetic energy. The transfer of energy from the world to the blimp makes the blimp fly all the way to the colored pencil clip, triggering the pulley system in the homework files that Kaylee set up. This leads us to the whiteboard shelf where the ball rolls down into a bucket, which falls. The students were experimenting there with pulleys and ramps and discussing gravity. Mrs. Rubenstein's teacher hand was thankfully placed near the mouse trap so that it triggered a tennis ball, which rolls behind baby Sally's legs, making her kick the ball bearings Jared set up on his textbooks. He wanted an excuse not to do his homework. The last ball bearing sadly falls and hits a tiny pencil that was attached to Allison's gravity beads. Poor Allison. She had spent hours and hours setting up her gravity bead jewelry, which she'll have to set up all over again. Her beads cause a block to trigger Emma's pineapple seagull contraption. Her seagull flies up and hits his head so hard on the shelf above, it causes the ball bearings to pour out of a bottle and into Clara's beach toy lever and pulley setup. With the pail and shovel still connected by a string, the shovel releases a small ball that hits vertical pipes, causing them to fall onto Gavin's ice cream scooper. He wants to be an ice cream truck driver when he grows up. His ice cream carton slides down and triggers the release of Dan's conveyor belt. The belt slides and shakes Jared's favorite toy, Douglas the hot dog. Poor Jared. He struggled to get into balance on his bun and finally succeeded, but Douglas flew down the inclined plane into the bucket pulley. The bucket swung off the table and knocked into the school's mascot, the Patriot Man, who fell on a mousetrap and triggered a second pointer on a second mousetrap. There was a small mouse problem at this school. The second trap triggered Dan's conveyor belt once again. Unfortunately, someone left the paint out. The paint slid on the conveyor belt and it hit into Kaylee's pencils that she carefully arranged when she was bored during math group. The pencils hit a ball bearing which landed on the kite toy tube and the kite fell onto Mia's lever. Her lever pushed over a huge 2x4 block. When the block fell, it scared the class pet Wormy, and he jumped back into his holy apple. The ball bearing Wormy was holding falls on the third pointer, which hits Mrs. Rubenstein's water bottle. The bottle falls off the desk, opening her Chromebook, which shuts her desk drawer organizer drawer. The block falls off and releases a toy rocket that was hanging, but it falls and delivers a band-aid onto Jimmy's arm, covering his cut so it doesn't get infected. Hooray!